Hello, Mrs. Jacobs. No, you didn't wake me. What can I do for you? Yes, I agree. Not exactly the hour for home remodeling. Way over in Kalani. Not so very long ago There's a song my mother'd sing to me And this is how it goes To ra lu ra lu ra To ra lu ra la Mommy, I'm right here, babe. Will you stay? I'm right here. You're running low on milk. Really? Well, I'll add that to the list. You know I'm going shopping with Brie when she gets out of school. I get paid on Thursday, so today's shopping day. But don't worry, I am gonna have plenty to cover the rent. God, the landlord, he is such a jerk. You know, he has to superpose these notices. How's Brianna doing even... in school? Good. She is doing really good. You know, she brought home an A in spelling yesterday. I mean, it's taking her a little while to get caught up in math because, you know, when she was with my sister last year, that time I was in the hospital, her school there, they'd already done the times table, so she, she's never really gotten it in class, but I am working with her on it. We made these flashcards, you should see them. They're so cute, we do yeah. them every night. And I've also got my eye on I'm this glad she's catching game up. thing. Uh, you know, they make these video games for kids, but I mean, it's not really uh, games. They're designed to help them learn multiplication and division, and there's one going on sale next week over in electronics. It's $50 for the player, it's another 20 for the cartridge, but uh, I think Oh, yeah. With my employee discount on top of the sale, just you, you have to pay rent. Remember? I told you I'm gonna pay the rent. It is payday. Jesse. I, I want to get her back with the group. You know, I don't want her to be left behind. I know you want what's best for Brianna. So do I. I know I can make it up to her and get her the extra help that she needs. I'm going to level with you. I'm concerned. I am doing everything. I'm concerned because I'm seeing you with some of the same symptoms you had before. I know you have a lot of issues you're dealing with, but it's my job to protect Brianna. I can't do it anymore. Why don't you stop? I can't. I'm not leaving. Call the cops. I don't You're wrong. What? It is my job. 
I am her mother. Protecting Brianna is my job. I just don't think there's anything wrong with me. I don't like to use the word wrong. It might be good to take an objective look at the facts. I feel fine. Last year, you were put on academic probation from the school for failing to complete coursework in every single one of your subjects. I, I would have completed it, but they wouldn't let me finish. See, the, the meds totally screw with my thinking. They destroy my creativity. Now you drop three out of five of your classes this semester. Those are core classes. I can take them any time. I need to focus on my real work. And you haven't been sleeping. When you're a creative person, you need to work when the inspiration strikes. That's the way artists work. See, I'm not sick. I'm an artist! This has been the longest year of my life. Sometimes when you finally get there, you realize there ain't no magic, you know? Tomorrow's another day, just like today was. And today is a blessing, Ralphie. I'm earning a living. I got a nice apartment. I got my self-respect back. I even got a job interview coming up in the next couple of weeks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. One of the top-notch real estate firms, high-end commercial properties. If they hire me, I'll be able to make some real money again. Well, good luck, bro. When I was your age, I was driving a Mercedes. Did I ever tell you that? <laughs> you mentioned that. <laughs> It'd just be nice to have something to dress up for. Hmm. How about your boy? What about him? And you stay with the program for a year now, right? No hospitals, no slips. All that work is about getting clear. Gives you a chance to see what's important. I think it's time. He's all the way in Florida. They got telephones there, man. I put them through hell. Him and his mother. Girl, you think you can live without me? I'm the one that pays for your designer shoes. I'm the one who pays for that Ivy Lee private school. They're taking our apartment, Lawrence. They're taking it back like they took the car. But, no, but that, I cut million dollar deals every day. He's in his 20s by now. Then it's time for you to go make amends. Just tell him what happened. You owe him that. Floor, I need you to straighten up those end caps over in housewares. It is a real mess over there because of the sale. I haven't finished stocking kitchen and bath yet. What have you been doing all day? I have been doing my job. 
I don't get it, Jesse. Some days nobody can work as fast as you, and some days it's like you are swimming through my Okay, 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 okay. I am going. Finish that restocking and then get over to housewares. You know, housewares can clean up their own mess. My daughter just called. They let out of school early. How is that my problem? I am off the clock at 2.30. Look, take a pill, okay? I need somebody on this. Back off, Raymond! That's it, Jesse. Look, I could care less if you lose it with me, but last week it was a customer. I am writing you up, and if I ever hear you raise your voice again in this store, you are history. Because miracles are about to take over the room. Mm -hmm. Or like, or like Philip Johnson, right? And in the cornice on the AT and T building. I mean, that is amazing. You know, despite what people say about him politically. What do they say about him? Oh man, he rocked the world with that building. Wait, you don't know? Oh wait, Frank, Frank Gary, Frank Gary, and that design he had for that for that museum, where it was like he just took long strips of paper, threw them on the ground, and just and just watched them curl around each other. I mean, that is where it's at. You can change people's lives with stuff like that. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, just bring in Kaminsky, bring in Raffles, and then show them this. You know, let them try and put me in a box. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a rendering project. They can render this. I think it's great, but it's... But what? Well, it's not a blueprint. It doesn't have legend for scale. It... But... But... What? So you were lying? You said it was brilliant. Well, no, I think it's really good. I, I mean, I, I helped you remember, but it's just not... Uh, it's not what the assignment was. Well, I'm not gonna get stuck in somebody's box. Oh, there's so much in my head. So much more than the entire department. Do the work! Do the work! That's what I think of the stupid work! She give me assistance. Wait, what? You're leaving? I have an early class. I think I'll finish it myself. You later. I can do anything. How you doing, little lady? I'm fine. Yeah, that's good. Is one of those papers for us? Oh, I'm afraid so. You want me to take it to Mama? Uh. Now don't you worry. Your Mama always pays. She might be a little late, but I know she's gonna get caught up. Because she's one tough lady here, Mama. All right? Okay. I'll see you later.
be no money. No money to pay for his self-indulgence. Self-indulgence? Dad, I'm an architect! You're not an architect! You're a student! Professor Blackmore says he has real talent! But he's not doing the work that's been assigned to him! He just needs to learn to change. I think I'm doing stifling. I'm stifling! I'm stifling! God forbid I should stop being the villain Don't you be the villain! I'm making him the villain! Stop it! Professor Blackmore says he has real talent. But he's not doing the Did somebody move Christmas and forgot to tell me? Oh, no, these are um, these are things that I got for Rihanna. See, they're coordinates, so the tops and the bottoms match. And wait, check this out. I saw this little doll over in Toys, and I couldn't believe it because look, see, see how the outfits are mm. kind of the same. I thought you were having trouble keeping up with your bills. Well, uh, I get an employee discount at work, so when stuff goes on sale, I get it for practically nothing. Have you worked on the budget we were talking about? Yeah, I tried, but it just seemed kind of pointless. Why? Because my problem is not the budget. My problem is my boss. I mean, he is such a jerk, and he's got it in for me, and he wants to get me fired, but he can't without cause, so he does everything he can think of to push me to the edge. Like what? Give me a specific incident. Well, last weekend he had me scheduled for Saturday and Sunday, and there was this carnival at Brianna's school, and this parents were supposed to volunteer, but he just said, you're the one on the schedule, you're responsible for the shift. So what did you do? I cussed him out and then I worked the shift because I couldn't find anyone to cover it and Bree had to go to the carnival with her girlfriend Ashley's family. Well, that doesn't sound so awful. I promised her I'd be there. And that is why I have got to get all of this under control because if I don't... Have you been taking your medication? I think we need to get you in to see the doctor. Yeah, because you think I'm losing it, right? What kind of mother am I? I think you're a single mom who works hard to do the best she can for her daughter. Nobody could work as many deals at one time as I could. My gross commissions for 1990 to 1996 were well over six figures. That's impressive. Uh, so, uh, you left there in 97. What have you been up to ever since? Well, 
Uh, I had to take a little time off to handle some personal issues. Richie? I've had some ups and downs my last few years. Disorder. Now, it's treatable, but I didn't find that out for a long, long time. I lost my last few sales jobs because my behavior was out of control. I finally got psychiatric help, and now I can manage the illness. Wow. Uh, congratulations. So, I got the job. Oh, I, I didn't mean... <laughs> I, I was just thinking uh, how hard that has to be, and it, it's great that you're doing so well now. I became a top seller at Mirage because I knew how to read the clients. I could always tell when someone was serious or when they were just window shopping. That's the real secret of being a closer. You never waste anyone's time. It's been a pleasure, Mrs. Turner. And ever since I left the hospital, I feel like I'm walking on the edge of a cliff with this medicine. Like I am afraid that I'm gonna fall off. And sometimes it gets me down um, and I'm I'm just exhausted all the time. How have you been sleeping? I don't need much sleep. I never have, you know, and there's always too much to do. You remember we talked about the manic symptoms to watch for? Well, on top of your depressive symptoms, you've been sleeping less, your thoughts have been racing, your speech is pressured, you're spending too much. I think what you're experiencing is a mixed bipolar episode. I thought the medicine was supposed to control that. I mean, why would I keep taking the medicine there if There are other medications. It's not always a straightforward process to get the right one. Each person is different. But I'm confident that we can find something to help you. What I need help with, what I need. You know, my little girl, I have got to get this together because the woman from CPS, she wants to take her away from me. Is it okay if I give your case manager a call? What for? Well, I want to call and let your caseworker know how hard you're working on this, Jesse. And I also want to let her know that we're going to work with you. It's great that they're releasing you tomorrow. Hmm. It'll be much better when you get out of here.
think I'm going to go for some coffee. Sweetie, do you want some? I don't know how to help you, Andrew. I felt the same way with my own dad. I've been so hard on you because I've been so... scared. What do I have to do to help you? This girl who owned the agency, she could have been my daughter. I'm 48 years old. In the last 10 years of my life, I just flushed those years. I'm never going to get my old life back. But Lawrence, do you really want to go back there? Think about all the things that weren't working back then. You've spent all this time, years, working to get to this point. A job, self-respect. You yourself have said those things here in this office. Well, what kind of future do I have? Well, we don't know, but uh, we get to find out, because you have one. You don't want to shut the book before you get to the end, do you? My parents wanted to take me home, but I convinced them I still had a chance at a passing grade point average if I stuck around, you know, for the final exams in calculus and American Lit. So, now I'm sitting around popping antipsychotics and reading Jack Kerouac. It's a weird combination. Maybe not. I keep thinking there's no way this is actually happening. I don't have bipolar disorder. I want to help you, Andrew. But first, you have to admit that there's a problem. I'm fine. So why are you here then? Because my parents thought it was a good idea. Looks like you hurt yourself pretty badly. What happened? I was drinking. I got in a fight. Who are you fighting with? S some guy at some party was messing with me. 
Messing with you, how? I don't know, I just got angry. This has happened before, hasn't it? We've talked about this many times. If I say yes, you're gonna call me crazy. I just want you to think about the facts. Yeah, it's happened before. A couple times. Okay. Tell me about the last time. Jesse, clean up in bed and bath. Right away, Mr. Cooper. I'm great at smashing stuff up. Just not so great at putting things back together again. <laughs> <laughs> this is not that rough, really. I'll show you how to fix it. You're saving my life, Mr. Nelson. You got a putty knife? Uh, yeah, there should be one over there somewhere. Okay. Mm. Mm. That's, that's just some stuff I'm getting rid of. Yeah. Are these yours? Some. Some doctor gave them to me, but uh, it's not like I really need them. You're not gonna believe this. But 20 years ago, I used to be a lot like you. I didn't think any of those doctors knew what they were talking about. I was earning six figures a year, driving a Mercedes, and I didn't need any help from anybody. At least that's what I thought. I had to lose my job. And my wife and son and live homeless on the street a while before I changed my mind. 